Everything's footprint today. Footprint and having the people available. Right now in our customers' facilities, our, their operators are stretched very thin. They used to load the product, load the corrugate, load the materials, and palletize all in one. Um, now there being, there's more demand on them. There's ergonomic challenges to palletizing cases all day. So now where a 10 to 15 a minute case palletizer may not have reached an ROI, today it does. And in order to service our customers, we need to be working on collaborative robotics. My name is Mark Suki and I'm the senior VP of sales for the Massman companies. Massman basically does all end of line automation. We started in our Villard location in 1978 and today we operate out of six locations focused in liquid filling, case packing, palletizing, pouch filling uh, throughout each of our locations. So our case packer here will run up to 20 to 25 cases a minute. What we really wanted to explore is how we could implement and use collaborative robotics within our systems. So in this scenario, we focused on palletizing. Massman builds robotic palletizers from single lane, one in, one outs, up to three lane layer picking, three in, three outs. But we haven't had a collaborative solution. Our low end, low speed solution is a gantry palletizer, which is exactly why we're looking at collaborative robotics. Um, looking in that 10 to 15 cases a minute area, picking multiple cases, and small footprint. I'm Zach Dotson, Solution Architect with Van Meter. Uh, part of my role here is I work with our customers to develop customized solutions um, so that they can provide a complete package to their end users. Part of the draw to robotics is not only labor shortages, but precision, safety, ease of use, um, machine turnover, maintenance, um, all of those are solved with robots, you know, whether it be industrial or collaborative. Um, they help to solve that. You think of a traditional machine where you have to change it over, it might take 20 minutes to a half hour, whereas with robots, you push a button and it's done. Um, so you literally go from you know, 30 minutes to, to one minute of changeover time, which allows you to do more production. So that's one of the, one of the big draws for robotics in the state. So we reached out to Van Meter saying that we were interested in collabor collaborative robotics. Uh, they, they had a customer that needed a palletizing robot at the end of their machine uh, due to uh, issues finding labor and everything with today's environment. So we partnered with Doosan and Massman to provide a collaborative robot. Uh, this robot is picking cases off of their machine and palletizing them. Uh, it eliminates the use of one to two employees, so it really helps with that labor issue. These robots are allowed to work with human interaction with no safety required. Um, they have internal safety and torque sensors, so you uh, can work right with them without having to be worried about safety zones and that there. In traditional robotics, the robots operate within a fenced area, which naturally takes up more distance. Here, where you're operating in the open space, that does come with the speed limitation, um, but to operate in, in the area with operators hand in hand, side by side, this is the perfect solution. The operator can come and remove that pallet and replace a new pallet and not have to stop the machine or the robot. Due to the collaborative nature, it's perfectly safe. If the robot were to come into contact with them, there's safety sensors that fall through out and stop, stop motion. One of the things that sets Doosan Collaborative Robots apart from others in this industry is they have an industry leading 25 kilogram payload and 1,500 millimeter reach. So if you think about palletizing applications where a person is constantly bending over, picking up a case, turning, setting it down, that can cause a lot of strain on back and, and muscles in general. A lot of fatigue, a lot of workplace injuries due to tired employees. Uh, the robots help solve that issue by eliminating it. Along with this, you're not eliminating that person, you're allowing them to use their time elsewhere. So they can tend to other components of the machine or the line or the process that maybe can't be automated or have to be done manually with human interaction. Now that Massman has had the opportunity to work with collaborative robots, thanks to Van Meter and Doosan, we've had exposure from both of our applications engineers, our controls engineers, and our sales engineers to expand on that solution. Now instead of just palletizing to a single location, we can palletize to multiple locations. We can do multiple heights. We can configure the robot to fit our customer's environment. 
and their plant layouts. Due to the, the fact that these Collabora robots are able to provide higher, higher throughput, safer machines, you know, more repeatability, we continue to see a drive for them and, and we'll see them expand and grow as our manufacturers continue to build equipment. It's all about uh, repeat customers and service and supporting them. So when Van Meter supports us and we can deliver a solid solution to our customers, that just means that we've built a long-term relationship. In this case, we're trying to provide more of the solution. As the Massman Companies continues to acquire, we're also organically growing within each of our facilities, which is what Collaborative Robotics are bringing to the table. We not only will use Collaborative going forward in robotic palletizing applications, but we'll also look at material handling within each of our locations as the years move on. You get to, to see the machine come to life, you get to see you know, the, the project completed successfully, a happy customer, their end users are happy. So really it's, it's a great feeling knowing that at the end of the day, I'm directly helping somebody else down the line and that's what it's all about.